foreign policy, if the proper function of a government is to secure the individual rights of its citizens, what would be the proper response of a government when the property of its citizens is expropriated or nationalized by a foreign government? And my answer is, protect that property at all costs, unless it's a means, an action, which will be taken against a stronger country, which will uh, lead to the enslavement or slaughter of your country. But if you're strong enough, and he gives the example, if the United States oil companies enter into contracts with and develop the oil resources of a foreign government, and that government in turn confiscates the capital equipment of the U.S. oil company, what should be the response of the U.S. government? War should be the response. Seizure back of all of that property and the ousting of the government that permits it. Whether democratically elected or not makes no difference. The ousting of the whole government, imprisonment of its leaders, and if necessary, the takeover of the entire country. The whole oil crisis and the power of the Middle East to turn the screws and make the West squirm is precisely that when this was started in Iran, they dithered and frightened and didn't dare interfere with the national collective rights of the Mideast countries. Uh, and uh, the result was uh, they lost everything. Uh, there was time after, after time where they had a chance to intervene. America even called off one uh, attack, I think by the British and the Israelis, if I remember, to, to uh, reassert the West. And uh, uh, America uh, backed down and made them give up. Uh, it was a total disgrace to let themselves be robbed blind when they had the total power. And of course, they're still doing that. They didn't fight uh, in Vietnam because they didn't want to hurt uh, North Vietnam by letting the dikes down. They didn't want to hurt the Iraqis. They didn't want to hurt the uh, Afghanistans. The Afghanis, uh, uh, they didn't want to kill the terrorists. They let them out of Tora Bora uh, under the alleged supervision of the, of the Afghans. Uh, the whole American policy has been build a mighty military and don't use it. Uh, that's their uh, incredible contradiction. The pretense of self-defense and the fact of self-sacrifice around the world. And this is one of the worst examples ever uh, uh, of that uh, policy. And of course, if it was known that that would have been the American response, it never would have happened. When there was gunboat diplomacy, and it was known around the world that anybody who sees British property, a gunboat would appear in the harbor, they didn't do it. That was the end. It was world peace for 99 years. But now the United States has the power and won't use it. Then it certainly is a paper tiger. It's just paper, not even the shape of a tiger. I hope you don't think that response was too moderate.